Hello everybody on YouTube, it's your boy the Memphis XLRA coming at you with 100 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Every day for 100 days we duel the different deck every single day. Today we've got a fan request for some good old Monarchs. And while we're doing, you know, typical Monarch stuff, I wanted to do something slightly different. So today we're focusing a little bit more on Thestalos here for a bit of a destroy your opponent's hand sort of deal. You know, we're trying to destroy our opponent's hands, give, deny them their resources. And so we're going to go ahead and take this deck out and go to YTO Pro, try it out, have ourselves a good time. Big shout out to Mr. Libra October who suggested today's deck. And so let's go ahead and get started and get ourselves a rolling with this deck. We're going to have ourselves a good time today. I've got a good old feeling. Alright, our first opponent. Going first is the name of the game, but unfortunately we don't get to pick. Monarchs really like to go first. It's a thing they like to do. They are the kings after all. They should be able to go first, because they are the kings. But we'll see how it goes. You know, we've got options. We've got options, you know. Going second doesn't immediately mean we lose. It just would have been better if we had gone first, you know. So, let's see what we got for an opening hand. An interesting opening hand. Not the greatest in the world. And fine, you can have your Master Rule 5. Might as well prepare for the Master Rule 5. It's going live not too long from now, folks. Not too much longer. A couple more weeks. It's not too long. Alright, so now we'll let our opponent start opening hand. Let's take a look. I mean, I've got Eidos. He gives me an additional Normie summon. The Stalos, the Mega Monarchs. The, my choice for Mega Monarch today. He, basically, he lets me, you know, look at my opponent's hand, destroy one of his cards. Well, discards it, but you know what I mean. And if it's a monster, I can deal burn damage. But mostly I just wanted to play it just because, you know, I wanted to try something different with Monarch. Basically, you know, this hand destruction idea. Well, we'll see how it goes. I really could have used a Dea, to be honest. I got that Stalos, though. That's nice. And uh, let me think about this. Kind of have no choice but to go for trade-in. I, I don't want to get rid of the Stalos, but I don't have another choice in the matter. I kind of need more cards. Kind of need more cards more than I need Thestalos. Plus, I have other copies of Thestalos. Obviously, I've got the original Thestalos here, who does much the same thing, except he's a random discarder. But, uh, you know, tit for tat and all that good stuff. Opponent has something. I don't know what the something is. We'll find out. He might just be reading what Thestalos does. I'm going to go off in a leaf and say that's what he was doing. All right. So what I'm going to do is use my Fire Vassal, because I drew it. I'm going to discard this Prime Monarch, that way I have that for later. Good old Trap Monster, just good for additional, um, what you call it, additional uh, Tribute Fodder later on. Alright, I've got Eidos for later, so let's go ahead and summon Thestalos. Good old boy here. And we'll use our Bergen Buoy. Basically, this guy lets me banish an opponent's card from his hand till the end phase. It also, you know, lets me look at my opponent's hand and all that good stuff, and it'll thin my opponent's hand to the point where Thestalos has a better shot of hitting, you know, the important stuff. We'll see what happens, though. He still has something. Let's see, what do you have in your hand? Um, We'll hit this, and then you lose this guy, Mr. Spirit Master. All right, I'm going to set my Monarchs Erupt, and... Yeah, let's go for attack. Probably should be a little more cautious, considering I don't have a perfect setup, but I'm just going to attack with Thestalos. So basically what this, the Monarch's Erupt, does is, since I have no extra deck and a Tribute Summon monster, uh, all my opponent's monster effects will be negated on the board. So if I can manage that, I should be good. I mean, he's got that dang old Book of the Loyd. You can just bring back Spirit Master... Banish one of my boys. I mean, specifically, you'll banish Bergen Boy or Thestalos. Probably Thestalos. Probably. Um. Okay, that's what that does. Interesting. Alright, he is actually going to banish my Vassal. Interesting choice. I mean, I guess he remembered I had Eidos. Or maybe he just doesn't care about Thestalos in the grave. One or the other. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have my protection for my monarch right now. That would have been nice if I could. If I could draw like, I don't know, what can I draw right now? That would be really nice. There's lots of things I could draw right now that'd be really nice. Summon a Sheer Noi from hand or grave. No. 
I'm going to be like, no, sir. No serenity to your spirit, master. Yep, your monster has to be banished for his effect to work, so if I can stop your things, I'm good. You're battling into me? No? Yeah, he thought better of that. He thought a wee bit better of that there, laddies. Alright, I got my Mega Monarch again. And I can normal summon him with one tribute, because this was tribute summoned. So now Thestalos is going to get rid of that last pesky card in his hand. And he will not only take damage from, you know, this having a level, he'll take an additional thousand because they attributed a fire monster. And so let's go ahead. Oh, but maybe I should have just traded in that one. Oh, well. I wanted to summon Thestalos the Mega Monarch today. That was the thing. You know, I've got Erebus, who is arguably better, but, you know, I wanted to throw out some uh, Thestalos here and there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set this to make him think it's something dangerous, and I'm going to end my turn. So long as my opponent doesn't get anything to banish stuff, I should be good. Because, like I said, he has to banish this to pop my stuff. He'll probably pounce on uh, Thestalos, I would go off on a limb and say. El Durando. Add Eldritch or a Golden Land spell trap. Ouch. That's not necessarily good. Not necessarily. He's going to get his Golden Boy. Uh, but he doesn't have any spell traps in the hand to use his effect yet. So I've got a little bit of extra time there. Yeah, because he can just ditch a spell trap in this to just send this to the grave. Not necessarily something I like the idea of him doing. Um, ooh, I've got to do some damage. i got to win now or I lose, basically. I've got Eidos here. He's got just enough attack to beat over the zero defense monster. It's just going to have to work for me. Unless one of these is a Golden Land spell trap. Could be one of them trap monsters of his. Oh, he's got something. I don't know what the something is, but we're just going to have to go for it, man. We don't have another option here. Let's attack the Shiranui Spirit Master. We'll see. I don't think he actually has anything. If he did, he would have done it by now. So there's a... I think that's a win. Let's wait and see. We'll, we'll wait and see. We'll see if we've won or not. No. No, he had a trap monster. That's not good. It's not good. Actually, now I think about it. Uh, no. We're not going to attack him. Because if we attack him, that's what he wants us to do. So, I'm not going to do anything to this thing. And hope that he doesn't draw into a spell trap. If he draws into a spell trap, we're dead, basically. Because he'll just straight up get rid of this Talos. But if I had destroyed this, he would have gotten one, you know, by its own effect. He would have just straight up added one. So, I'm just going to leave it on the board. I just need to get, I don't know, another Thestalos or something. I was so close to that victory, but he just has that obnoxious, non-targeted, non-destruction removal. Luckily, he's drawing into other monsters, and hopefully this is another Shiranui. Going off on Long Limb and saying it probably is. Set this. Alright, let's get rid of the set monster. I don't trust the set monster. I don't trust it as far as I could throw it. Alright, what do you got here? It's Mizuki. Alright. Well, he's got Mizuki. I can't deny the Mizuki. Alright. Unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate that I don't have everything I could want. I could really use my dang... Well, my field spell wouldn't help me in this situation, really. I could really use... Like, my March of the Monarch would be nice. That would be pretty nice, actually, because then I could, you know, uh, protect this Thestalos. I could also just use another Thestalos. That would be pretty good, too. Uh, but yes, he's got Unizambo. Oh, no. Yeah, now he's going to do that. Get out Shogun Saga. That's unfortunate, because that's bigger than Thestalos. That is unfortunately larger than Thestalos. Gosh darn it, man. I am not ready to call throwing that towel, damn it. Um Well I'm just gonna activate another one. I don't want you doing stuff. I don't want you doing any more stuff, thank you. You may get rid of one, but I have another one. That was probably a bad move, but it's fine. Oh man, I really should have traded you in Thestalos. It was a bad move on my part. As much as I love you, my dude, you're gonna cost me the game at this point. That's not good. Oh, I should have gone for just kept on drawing and gone for that dangled Erebus. But one good thing is the Prime Monarch is now live. 
So basically, you know, end phase, I can banish my Monarchs Erupt, get out Prime Monarch. That way I have Tribute Fodder for later. You know, we can keep bringing back this dang old Unizombo. It doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is he's going to get one of them dang spell traps to his hand. And then he can bring out Mr. Golden Boy. I'm uh, sorry, Festalos. You're gone. You're kaputs. I could really use Erebus right now. That would be the best draw. That would certainly be the best thing I could hope for right now, I would declare. And I do declare. I declare it right now. Erebus, please. That would be my, that's my wish. Alright, so now he's going to get one of the spell traps. Doesn't matter what he gets, because he's just using it for Eldritch. Oh, Elden. Oh, no, it gets set to there. Okay. I thought I got it to his hand. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Erebus! Eros! Erebus! Okay, here we go. Trade-in time. Go ahead and ditch Erebus. I can recover him by ditching my Return of Monarchs. And I'm going to get to draw some more cards. He can summon any Zambo he desires. This is true. But, if I play my cards right, it won't matter. So what do you got? You got something. You gonna summon a Zambo? I mean, you're welcome to summon a Zambo. It's not gonna do you much good. Let's see what we got here. We got another Eidos. Uh, okay. First off, Erebus. Go off. Ditch this. Uh, oh man, I could get Thestalos, though. Hmm. That would do... That, it it's level times 200. It's a level 10 monster. Eh. Give me this back. Thestalos, you can redeem yourself. You can redeem yourself in the eyes of the people. As long as you don't fuck it up. All right, promise me you don't fuck it up, Best Alice. That's all I'm asking. I will ask you for nothing else. Yep. I will ask for nothing else if you just don't fuck it up. All right. I just need to get Thestalos out because it's, you know, 200 times the level. He's a level 10 monster. That's 2,000 damage. That ought to be game. He's got 1,300 life points. So, okay, he's going to summon another one. Which is technically, possibly, really bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate my Return of Monarchs. This thing basically says if I, you know, summon out one of my Monarchs, I can get a different kind of Monarch. Banish a card... Let's see. Banish a card from either graveyard. Okay, that doesn't... That doesn't affect me very much. I don't I don't really care. I don't, I don't honestly care about Haquero right now. Okay. Come on, baby. Give me everything you got. Thestalos, go! And why not? Chain block for no particular reason. Uh, add another Thestalos. Just add another gosh darn Thestalos, man. Just in case. Okay, ditch your golden boy. And there you go. Oh. That was a bit of a nail biter there for a second, but we managed to come out on top. Thestalos, you have earned my respect. You did all the burn damage you could have ever wanted. So there's a good first duel. Let's go for Duel 2, try to get ourselves a bit of a stronger board, because you know, honestly, Monarchs can do a lot stronger than <laughs> All right, Alrighty, second opponent, let's see what happens here. We'll see, I mean, I've got all the things in the world, but that first duel really shows that if Monarchs brick, they have a little bit of a hard time, but I'm hoping that the Stalos will be burning things, and hopefully Erebus will be bouncing things, and you know, everything will turn out alright, you know? Monarchs, they're a bit of a malign deck. They've been both good, great, and terrible all in the same time. So, like I said, going first with this deck, I just really want to go first and set my board up. You know, get myself a Tribute Summoned Monster. I really need Adia. Adia is the most powerful of Monarch support cards, the Vassal Adia. Well, he's technically a Squire, but you know what I mean. Basically, I summon him and I can summon Eidos uh, from my deck. And then, of course, I get my extra normal summon. And Adia, when leaves the field, lets me get a Banished Spell Trap back, which is very key. Because while I didn't get to show it in the first duel, strongest Spell Trap of my deck would have to be, um, frickin' what, what do you call it? Pantheisms of the Monarchs, which is a very powerful card, which I haven't drawn, because it's a one-of, unfortunately. And I didn't draw my thing to search out said one-of. But I did draw Reinforcement of the Army. 
Because Adia is a warrior type monster, therefore I can just straight up add it to my hand. That would have been nice, but my opponent was like, "No, you're not allowed to do that, man. You're not allowed. To, you're not allowed to do that, man. You got to add blossom." Okay, fine. You have your Ash Blossom. I have Return of the Monarchs. You know, I'm gonna deck thin and stuff. But get myself prepared for later. Let's go ahead and do the Festalos thing. And go for Broke. Let's see. Go Festalos. And then go Burleth. Go Return. Doesn't matter the order there as much. And add ourselves a Mega Monarch. I mean, I could also hit Erebus. That is another option. But... And the off chance that this survives, I'd like to tribute Thestalos. Alright, see, so let's go ahead and hit Polly. That way we guarantee he loses Lunalite Blue Kitty Cat. Uh, that does not activate or anything. I would have preferred to hit the wolf, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately I did not. You know, I would have preferred to hit that because if I'd hit wolf... That would have killed a lot of his stuff, because Wolf lets him banish things to do the fusion summon. That was kind of what I was aiming for. Send a Lunalite from hand to grave, draw one card, okay. I uh, ditched the Bunny Rabbit, okay, interesting. He's got Tanky, which is bad, because now he can get Toyga. Tony the Toyga, they call her. Or you just call it Banana Tiger, whatever you want to call it. Probably, probably going to add the Tiger, because that thing is ridiculous in Lunalite's. I mean, it's just like, you can, you know, revive one of your Luna Lights. You can bounce it, reactivate it, summon more Luna Lights. Honestly, I think that card needs to be limited and or banned. Probably not banned. I, w I wouldn't really want to see this card banned. Maybe limited. I thought, we'll see. We'll see indeed. Might have to have a talk with the people at Konami. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so now he's going to bring back Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat would normally do something when special summoned, but its effects are negated. So the thing is, all right, well, the one good thing is he doesn't have the chicken. If he had the chicken, I would be worried, but he does not have said chicken. Uh, he does have Time Thief Boy, which is mildly annoying, because he can keep stealing the cards off of my deck and all that stuff, but we'll see. We'll see and see indeed. And yep, he's got him go ahead and Time Thief for Doer, banish that for a turn. Time Thief for Doer is just, he's not really ban worthy he's morally just like he's just like annoying honestly i mean could he get hit in the future maybe but i really doubt it i am somewhat doubtful of ever being hit with the redoer because while he is annoying he doesn't do enough to like justify being you know banned or limited or anything of the like and unfortunately yeah now is when he goes for saber boy or girl Gotta be politically correct and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's a 3,700 beat stick, sadly. Which means my Thestalos is about to eat it. Man, I'm jealous. He gets to taste some of them thighs. I mean, what? What? Who said that? Okay, now I'm getting attacked with Saber. And that's not good, because now... The thing about Monarchs, they do not have good recovery. Recovery is not something we do. When the king falls off of his throne, he tends to lie there, half dead. Alright, so now he's got both of these. Alright, what did he steal? He stole my Eidos. I do not appreciate that. So, how many tech is that? 50, 60... Okay, I survive if that's all he's got. Basically, if that's all he's got, I survive one more turn. We'll see. I could really use... What could I use right now? Let me think about that. Um... <laughs> Not much. Not much indeed. Uh, while I have my first Monarch, he doesn't save me at all. I would play him to protect myself, but I need him as tribute fodder. At the very least, I might die this second duel. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say right now, probably this second duel is not going to be a win, folks. But hell, come hell or high water, I will burn my opponent to the very bitter end. I shall burn ye to the bitter end, lad. Hello, Er- Oh, wait, Erebus is here. Oh! <gasps> We have a chance. We have a chance and a shot in the deck. This is basically, Erebus can spin this back to his deck. It's non-targeted. It's pretty good. Right? You don't target. Yeah, you do not target. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, He's stealing more of my stuff. I don't appreciate. If he gets one of my traps right now... Oh. 
He did that effect. Okay. And I could bring back one of those, but I don't really need to. Let's go for first of the monarchs. This trap monster, I can put it right here. And then I discard a card. And then I can make this guy go two, tar uh, two tributes for a dark monster. That will allow me to summon Erebus here. Go ahead for good old Erebus. And then Erebus and my return go off. I'm going to make it so I chain block my opponent in case of Ash Blossoms. Uh, go ahead and add uh, another Mega Monarch in case I get trade in and I survive and all that good stuff. Not yet. Get ourselves a Thestalos. Very nice. And so Erebus, I dump two of my spell traps to the grave. This one because I don't need it. And this one because I do need it. And I am going to return this to his extra deck. Very nice. So now let's use Pantheisms. So I can banish this, pick three of my spell traps. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get my field spell and make it simple for me. I can pick three copies of field spell. My opponent has to give me one of these cards. The rest go to my deck. And then I'm just gonna play my field spell, and then that's gonna be like He's going to be in a lot of trouble after that, because without an extra deck, I don't know what he can do. I mean, he still has Time Thief. That's the one thing he does get to keep. So let's go ahead and play our Domain of the True Monarchs. So yeah, now he cannot do the extra deck. And... Do I have a normal summon? No, I do not. Okay, let's go ahead. Beat it to our opponent. My opponent is not amused. He's like, oh yeah, I was supposed to win this duel. But now it's like, oh, maybe I'm not going to win this duel. So, yeah, I could bring back things, but I'm going to wait till next turn. Uh, hopefully there will be that next turn. Uh, but there's still the possibility of Redoer stealing a trap card, which would be bad. It would be very bad if he did that. Because if he did that, I'm going to be screwed. Luckily, all he did was get a spell card. He does get to draw a card, though. And if he draws, like, spell trap removal, obviously we're going to be in trouble. But right now we're good, because he can't use extra deck at all. Because that's how the main works, man. That's, that's, this is the primary play style of Monarchs in recent years. It's called the main lock. It's pretty powerful. But at the same time, it's like, I wanted to do the extra stuff with Vestalos. You know, break it up a little bit. So now he's got Dangled Redoer. If he doesn't get a monster, but a spell next turn... Uh, I am going to attack this thing first. All right, end phase. Um, why not? Let's just get let's just get Prime Monarch out here. I'm just gonna get my little trappy boy here. There you go. All right, what do we get? March of the Monarchs is good. This will give my monster protection. It's targeted protection and destruction protection. He did get another mod. He stole my dude. You stole my dude, dude, and I don't appreciate it. Let's go ahead and use Eidos. Can I go ahead and get back Fireboy? This is his name. I'm, I I can't pronounce it. Ber, Berlineth? I'm just going to call you Bob, okay? Bob is a better name anyway. Bob, indeed. All right, let's go ahead and play our March of Monarchs. Our monsters have protection now. So now, I'm going to summon you using these two. I could have distributed Erebus, but that would have been a silly move. And then let's go ahead and use Burnleth and Return as well. Mostly to chain block, but also just to add more things, and we'll get another regular Thestalos. Not that I bloody need it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it hard. All right. Let's see. I'll banish this. Doesn't matter, because I get to pick this time. There you go. So now you're going to take a lot of damage. 1,000 because I attributed a fire. 1,200 because of that thing's level. All right. This ought to be game, but don't. Don't count your chickens. That could be Tiger. If it's cat or Tiger, he gets to float. Nope. Okay. Whew. That was a that was a close one, folks. That was a very close duel. Monarchs, they pulled through on that one. So we got ourselves a nice win there. And I'm, I'm showing off better the power of Monarchs, so I appreciate that. So let's go for duel number three and show it off a little bit more. Alrighty, our third opponent. Let's see if we can keep it up. I'm not getting to pick, though, which is unfortunate. Like I said, want to go first as often as possible with this deck. The more times you go first with Monarchs, the better you will ever be. Alright, so... Yeah. I will say I am glad... Uh, my, my channel's growth, I usually don't bring this up. It's been pretty good. 
You know, the last couple days, I've gone like three whole subscribers. That might not sound like much in the long run, but to me, that matters because it just shows that, you know, you guys are finding my stuff and you enjoy it, you know, and that's all that really matters. So, yeah, so it's just, it's sad that the 100 days is almost over already. Well, sad. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie, folks. Some days with these decks, with, you know, play testing and real life, you know, job and, you know, everything, it, it gets very tiresome. But we still got like, what? We got like 17 days left of the 100 days? Oh, uh, goodness. Yeah. But luckily, I've already gotten like the, the finale of this is all, you know, figured out. I already know what the finale deal is going to be. But, uh, yeah, uh, what do I even have in my hand? This is a hand I like. This is a hand I like. Because I've got a Dia. Where have you been? Where the frick have you been, you little prima donna? I needed you so many times. Where have you been? Where have you been? I don't... You have no excuse, Adia. You have no excuse, and you never will. Okay? That's just how it is. But yeah, Adia here is our most important monster. I will berate Adia as much as possible. See, Adia is making up already because I berated him. See? This is why you berate your co-workers, is because they do better work. But don't berate them too much, or else they will cry like tiny baby children. Uh, I would get pantheisms, but I need a card in my hand to do that with. So, he's playing those. I'm going to get this. Just going to get myself a good old Monarch's Erupt. And let's go for Adea. Good old Adea is going to summon me an Eidos. Unless I get Ash Blossomed for the millionth time. Why did I forget to put Call by the Grave in this deck? I don't know. I mean, he's got Sismitas. Uh, Banish a card. Uh, if this card attacks, this way could be a Banish card. Tribute a monster, target a card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it. Oh, okay. It's asking if he wants to banish Tenacity. Which would be a dumb move, but he, he'll probably use this anyway once I've summoned Erebus. I mean, I can summon Thestalos too, but... Uh, the Stalos has done his job. It's time for Erebus to do things. Hello, I am Erebus. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get a card out of his hand. Because I already know I can beat over this. Plus he might already, you know, it's tribute it and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and banish a card in his hand. Um, I'm going to ban... Let's see here. I don't want to send Pantheisms because he'll banish it. Send this. And send that. And from your hand... It goes. There you go. That goes back to your deck. Uh, I could just bring that back. Let's go ahead and beat over Sestmatast. How do you pronounce this? Setsamas. Set I was close. I was kind of close. All right. So now that's going to be going. No Sestmasus for you. All right. So we're up against Infernoids. This could be bad if he has Lair of the Dankness. That would not be a good thing. This Lair of Dankness really is a nasty card. Because then he can just straight up tribute my monsters, which would not only be bad, it would also be ironic. You know, because I would be uh, losing to the, you know, getting tributed, which would be very weird. Alright, but it looks like my opponent's got a whole lot of nothing. I think this might be game, actually. I mean, th this is like pure, raw power of Monarchs right here. This is the pure, raw, undiluted power of Monarchs right here. We're getting everything we could ever want. You know, I don't get to do all the things with Thestalos. But I get to do enough things with Thestalos that it's going to hurt really bad. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the card in his hand. He's going to take some damage. Um, I'm going to hit the spell card because that matters to him more. You might have thought I was going to hit the monster and do damage. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the thing that hurts more. And I'm going to get myself a Domain of the True Monarchs. This is one of the things where I would actually use an extra deck, but... Like I said, Monarchs are traditionally not an extra deck deck. Not to say you can't play an extra deck in this deck. I'm just saying you normally wouldn't want to. Let's go ahead and attack our opponent with everything we've got. And this is pretty much going to be game once I play Domain. I don't think he can get around that. Alright. Let's go ahead, Main Phase 2, activate Domain... And that's pretty much going to be it. Unless he draws, like, I don't know, Lava Golem or some nonsense. I should be good. Uh, if an Infernoid battles after damage cap, send this card to the graveyard, which he cannot because it's in the graveyard. Okay. 
I was just checking again what this does. So yeah, my opponent, I don't think he can come back. You know, his Deviati's in the, or it's banished. It's in the banished zone. If it was on the board, it would be a problem, but it's not on the board, therefore it is not a problem. And my opponent has surrendered. All right. So there you go. That's the duel we wanted. That's undiluted, raw, pure monarch power. All right. Let's go for duel four. See if we can get it one more time. All righty. Final opponent of the day. We'll see what we get. It's been a long day. Well, for me, I'm, I'm exhausted. Not going to lie, folks. I did not sleep last night very much at all, but I'm pushing through this episode. I might need to take another day off. In the next couple days, not not yet, but I'll, I'll try to get more sleep tonight. Anyway, uh, what is this opening hand? This is not a good opening hand. This is uh, this is actually a bad opening hand. The only good thing is that we're going first. If I get Ash Blossomed, I'm pretty much dead, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to ditch that Stalo, see if I can draw a couple of cards. That would be nice, sir. No, he's not going to be a nice, uh, not at all. This is a mean boy. This is one of those meanies because he's got the Ash Blossom. Yeah, I really should have figured some more call. If, if you're playing Monarchs, play Call by the Grave. Just, just play it. You search enough. I really should be playing it. Uh, I forgot it because I'm just exhaust and I cannot think straight. Um, oh, yeah, you get to do all your stuff, but I don't get to negate you. I'm not negating you. How do you explain that, liberals? I, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Yeah, up against Elementary Heroes. They are a combo deck that just will not stop. Malicious, I'm sorry, my boy. You're going to get hit on the next ban list no matter what you do. You know, I'm sorry, Malicious. It's not your fault. It's the hero player's fault. They're, they're going to get you limited again. And or, I don't think you're, well, not limited, but semi-limited, so you're playable. If Malicious was limited, nobody would look at you. you know, that's the thing. No one would look at you, Malicious. No one would even look in your direction if you were limited. Same with, I mean, what's he going to go, glow bulb? I thought this was Heroes, but I think it's something different. He's actually playing Splague, Splague Predator Zombie. That's what it's called, Splague Predator. Splague Predator Zombie, okay, nice old tuner. You know, used to be a really good tuner, but uh, not as much anymore. So, now what exactly are you doing? Okay, he's going to go for Unicorn. He's really scared of the set card that doesn't hurt him. See, this is why sometimes you just set cards that don't do anything. You're trying to scare your opponent. Oh, he had his Darling Cobra. Ah, he drew a Garnet. I see. He just really didn't want that dang old Garnet. All right, he's going to put another card back up here. Um... Trying to think of Link for oh, okay, so he's gonna bring out the other malicious now, okay. Potential level eight synchro shokun or potential big link four. Could be either one. Could be either one. Um Okay. So he's used Oh okay, he had Boral Sword. That's not good. Or not Boral Sword, but Boral Load Savage Dragon. Well that might be game right there, folks. Unfortunate Bad ending to the episode, because he's got that negation, and I don't have anything. I don't, ha I don't have a dang old thing, so as much as I hate to say it, I I'm exhausted. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to go for the end screen, because I, I can't get around that at this point. It's way too late to stop it. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Monarchs did alright today. We had some close calls. You know, Monarchs... They're, they're a little glass candy from time to time, but you know what? We did all right. We did the things we wanted to do. The guy whose name I can't say right now, you did a good job, okay? You're like a brother to me. You're like the son I never had, okay? And you did all the burning you ever wanted. And we had ourselves, I know I had a good time. I hope everyone watching had a good time. Uh, smash like if you did and all that good stuff. I'm going to go pass out, so I'm right and rested for tomorrow's video which i don't know what i'm playing with yet but i'll figure it out so till next time your boy memphis is signing out i'll see y'all next time take care